Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are doing a Nomads unboxing. Now, this is just one bag and it looks like it is only a little bag, but there are 11 things in this bag for us to unbox. So obviously they're all little things today, um, but I'm really excited to get them open and get using them. So let's start with this one. So um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I got married in January. As part of my um, reception, I gave everyone who attended the gift of a fragrance. My husband and I went into store and we chose seven fragrances that we both loved, that we would both wear, that we considered um, to be unisex um, fragrances. I already own two of those fragrances, like proper big bottles of those fragrances. So all our guests got 50 ml bottles. Bottles, um, and it was potluck what they got. So I got um, different amounts of each of those seven and it was just luck of the draw who got what. Um, so I have two full size bottles um, and I'm working to have all seven because it's a sentimental thing for me. So this is one of the ones that I didn't already own. That was one of the ones we gave to everybody at our um, wedding reception. So I think this one is like a... a fairly well-known one with the brand. Um, it's certainly ones they give samples out of when you buy things. So oh, let me just get it out. Um, so I don't think it's new. I most certainly don't think it's new. Um, and I believe it's from the men's line, but I will happily wear this. I think it's gorgeous. So it looks like this in the bottle. And it's just beautiful. So my sales associate knows I'm working to get 100 ml bottles of all of the fragrances. It's just beautiful. It's fresh. <sighs> Love it. So yeah, I will more than happily wear that even though it is from the men's collection. So that's one. And then we also got, oh, so this one, and I think my husband already has this in full size. So we, from this collection, uh, the blue one was one of the ones that we got also, um, but I already own that, so that's fine. Let's open it up. So Hermes do beautiful, beautiful fragrances, I've got to say. Just really lovely fragrances. Um, and so it looks like this. It's in a yellow bottle. And this one from memory is citrusy. Yeah, there's the citrus. <laughs> um, so my husband and I both like clean, fresh fragrances and citrus will always drag us in. We love anything that's a bit citrusy. So I got this one as well because this was another one that we gave at our wedding. And this one. So Voyage de Hermes. Terrible French accent, Meredith. Terrible. I'm going, to, I'm going to Paris in September. The French are going to hate me. <laughs> I am not able to pronounce anything well. And certainly I should not be allowed anywhere near the French accent. Oh, there we go. So this one's got a really cool bottle. Oh, if I can get it out. Oh, there we go. So this is what the bottle looks like. And they give you instructions on this side on what to do with it. So it goes like that and then it can stand on its own if you put it that way. So once again, this is from the men's range. I actually think all three of these are from the men's range. I actually think most of what we chose is from the men's range because I just find it really, oh, look at that. It's got a sticker on it. <laughs> Here, take that off. There you go. <laughs> Who knew? Um, I actually find that a lot of the stuff in the men's range, I am more than happy to wear. That one's really subtle, super subtle. Yeah, if you don't want anything that is too overpowering, that's that's a great one. So yes, I got that also. So I got three fragrances. I already had two, so I'm at five. 
and I've still got two more that I need to get and then I'll have all seven of the fragrances that we gave as gifts at our wedding which is sentimental to me um, and I've got a heap of fragrances so I'm fine with that all right let's move on to the next ones so we have let's just get them all out and make life easier so I got these four as well so I love makeup brushes. I have a huge makeup brush collection. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that because um, I put a reel up of all my makeup brushes and everyone was like, oh my goodness, that is so many makeup brushes. Yes, I have a real thing for them. So I wanted to try the Hermes makeup brushes. So this is the powder brush and they're so beautifully packaged. Um, so let's just take that off. So it comes with like a little leather sleeve. This is leather. It's not plastic. And then this is your powder brush and it's so soft and so beautiful. So I got the powder brush. I also got the blush brush and each one has a different color, little, um, collar on it. So this is the blush brush and... It has a um, angle to it, which is fantastic when you're doing blush and you want to like push your blush and your bronzer up. It lifts your face up. And for those of you who might be like me and in your 40s, that's really important. <laughs> um, this is the powder face brush. Oh, and this one comes in a little box. Special. <laughs> And tissue paper, look out. Wow. So, this would be good for highlighter. Oh, there we go. So, we've got this one, which is fantastic. And these are beautiful, just absolutely. And then we've got the lip brush. So, they were missing one. I wanted all of them, and they're missing one. I think it's probably the eyeshadow brush. Um, so, and then we have the lip brush. I don't use a lip brush a lot these days because I tend to use uh, color stay lipstick. Um, and generally the applicators that come with, um, like lipsticks and lip glosses and that kind of stuff these days, you don't really need a lip brush, but sorry, every now and again, it's really handy to have. So I have all four, well, I have four of the five makeup brushes that they do, and I'll be trying to get the fifth one just so I can give them a go and see if they're actually worth the money. They're not cheap. No, no, not cheap, but they are beautiful. All right, next we got some makeup. So this is, let's have a look. There's two and two here. Yes. All right, so these, this one, let's open it up. And if you buy Hermes makeup, it comes in little orange Hermes boxes. So if you love Hermes packaging, but it's really expensive to shop in Hermes, I appreciate that. But you can afford the makeup. You still kind of get the experience, which is nice. Uh, all right. So this is the, and I'll give you the name of it. <sighs> what do we call it? We call it the Healthy Glow Mineral Powder. And this is in number two Atlas. So it's a bronzer. There we go. And so I don't blind you. This is what the bronzer looks like in the pan. So I'm a little obsessed with bronzer at the moment. I'm using a lot of it. This has got a luminous effect to it. So I'll be interested to see how it goes on and how it wears. And if you're interested in seeing any of these, any of this makeup in action, I'm starting a TikTok. God help me, um, where I'll be doing makeup and talking about um, different makeup that I've got and how it wears. So come follow me over on TikTok if you want to see this stuff in action. Um, and then I also got this one, which is also the Healthy Glow Mineral Powder. And this is in Tutori, which is number one. So this is going to be lighter than the other one because the other one's number two. So this is number one. So I get them both because sometimes I have a tan and sometimes I don't have a tan. So it's handy to have two and uh, two different colors. And sometimes I want to bronze up a little bit and sometimes I just don't feel like I can carry it off. So I get both colors. I can't go any darker than that. I look, I look silly. Um, all right. And then I got these. So these are the iridescent mineral powders. So let's 
have a look. This is in number two, Coral Mo Mohave, possibly. Uh, and so this is more of a highlighter. You could most certainly wear it as a blush, but it's going to have a lot of luminosity to it. So it is going to be like a highlighter but it's a really pretty, pretty corally color. And sometimes I'll be high pink and sometimes I just want to tone it down a little bit and go a bit more coral or peach. So I got that one. And then I also got this one, which is also the same iridescent mineral powder. And this is in Rose Atacama, Rose Atacama. So this is number one. The coral is number two. I don't think they've had these out for very long. I have highlighter from Hermes. I have blushes. I have lipsticks. I have lip oils. Yeah, I've got a fair bit of makeup. I haven't done their skin tint yet, but I might try that at some point as well. Uh, so this is number one. And this is, you can, anyone who knows me will know why I was drawn to this. So it's a beautiful pinky mauve color. So once again, could be a blush, could be a highlighter. You could go either way. And I just thought it was a beautiful, beautiful color. So we've got some Hermes makeup and brushes to play with and some additions to my fragrance collection. So I'm super excited to get these out and start to use them. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to list what makeup I'm wearing when I, when I, um, film so sometimes people will say to me oh what what lipstick are you wearing what blush are you wearing what eyeshadow are you wearing and I'm more than happy to answer that sometimes it'll take me a little while to think about it because I just get ready and I don't think about it as I'm getting ready so I'll have to backtrack but if you want to know what makeup I'm wearing when I film please let me know in the comments down below and I'll start to add that into the description box so that you can see um, and quick reference if you really like the lip color I'm wearing you can go find it yourself and it makes your life easier um, so I'm happy to do that if you guys want it so let me know if you've liked today's video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below it means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button also hit the little bell notification so you know when i've uploaded videos which is usually three times a week i'll also throw up my instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there i put lots up in real time and lots around my day-to-day -day life day-to-day -day life and my collection so please come follow me over there i hope wherever you are in the world today you are having a fabulous day and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye, guys.